How can you tell that someone is HIV positive? Um, coughing, hurting, flu symptoms. Yeah, but yeah, flu symptoms. Uh, in, in connection with that, obviously you, you can't tell uh, because uh, you need to test. Otherwise, uh, it's not a question of observing somebody physical. Can you only get eight in Africa? Terence Higgins Trust was saying that um, they have 11 cases diagnosed each week in Bristol. And, um, and that's only of the people who actually come forward to be tested. There are lots of people who haven't bothered. And across the southwest, they're seeing about 300 new cases a year. Um, the levels of the amount of people with HIV and AIDS, is it rising or uh, decreasing? Right. Uh, it, it depends with the parts of South Africa. Like we've got nine provinces, right? Um, there are two provinces where the statistics have been very stubborn, right? That's KZ10. Guazulu Natal, right, and uh, um, Pumalanga, where we come, we, where we come from, for different reasons. I think it has to do with the social and the economic conditions. Uh, the sub-Saharan Africa, that's where uh, uh, it's uh, really bad, because uh, it is estimated that uh, um, 33 million people worldwide are infected, and 22 m million happen to be in the sub-Saharan Africa. So you can see the nature and the degree of the, how bad it is. If you're involved in a relationship with a person and then later on you find that that person is HIV positive, what will you do? Will you dump that person or will you continue the relationship? Um, well, I suppose you, if it was me, I'd go and check if I had it, if I was positive. And if I was, there's no point moving from the person that has it onto another person and give it to them. So you stay with the same person. What is the difference between HIV and AIDS? HIV is just um, is the starting. It's not. It's just the weakened version of the virus. AIDS is the full thing. It's um, when it becomes developed after a long time. HIV AIDS. What sort of treatment do you get for HIV? Uh, okay, you, we are all HIV positive people who has a sort of account of two hundred and less. They are getting like. ARVs, yeah, it's a combination of three drugs. So if your sort of account is 200 and less, you are getting a, uh, which we call ARVs. How can you protect yourself against getting HIV? Use a condom when you're having sex. Um, I don't know, it's a condom. Not having sex. <laughs> Do you mind explaining what, what the count is? Because I'm not sure everyone will know what, what, what blood count is. Uh, you know, you said a count of 200. If you'd be able to okay. explain what CD4 that means. Okay, CD4 count, it's, it's like an amount of CD4 cells in your body. CD4 cells, they are white blood cells. So the HIV virus, it attacks the, 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 the CD4 cells. So when I talk about CD4, CD4 cells, I talk about like the, the, the immune system, the body's defense mechanism. Uh, Hannah. Back in South Africa, is there a lot of kind of work in with children, with young people, uh, to raise awareness? Is that something that's kind of goes on at the moment? Uh, yes, and um, uh, uh, luckily enough, before we came to UK, even the statistics were really reflecting that the young generation are now getting the information. Right, uh, all the programs have been targeting the youth because initially when AIDS, uh, HIV and AIDS was attacking, it uh, almost was viewed as if it's killing the youth. But now it's also uh, clear that there are no programs for the old generation and it's catching up with us, of which we are just following uh, uh, behind. That's the problem. Because like in terms of the, the statistics which, we, which came out recently when, before we came to UK, uh, uh, it was uh, at a national level, with the exception of two provinces which I mentioned, right, it was clear that for the youth, all, uh, generally the, the statistics are going down, but for the elders, especially in the category of uh, around 50, is it, starting to pick again. Why? Because there are no programs to educate them about the HIV and AIDS.